What is a neural network? Neural networks are the backbone of image recognition and natural language processing. This is how they work. Imagine this huge bustling postal sorting office. It's chaotic, but incredibly efficient. First, truckloads of mail arrive, letters, packages, postcards, all mixed up. And this is similar to how the raw data is fed into a neural network. Let's say we're showing the network a picture of a cat. Each pixel in that image is like a piece of mail arriving at the sorting office. Inside the office, there are tons of sorting stations. Each station has a specific job. One might sort mail by zip code, another by city, another by package size, and so on. These sorting stations are like the neurons in a neural network. Each one performs a specific, simple task. Now, connecting all these sorting stations are conveyor belts, and some of them are wide and fast, others are narrow and slow. These conveyor belts are crucial. They represent the connections between the neurons, and their speed and capacity, which we call the weight, determines how much information flows between those stations. A wide, fast belt means a strong connection. A narrow, slow belt means a weaker connection. And the mail just doesn't go through one sorting station. It goes through several of them, and they're arranged in layers. First, it might be sorted by region, right? East coast, west coast, and so on. Then within each region, it's sorted by state, then by city, then by street, and finally by house number. Each layer of sorting refines the organization of the mail and gets it closer to its final destination. This is exactly how a neural network works. Each layer of neurons transforms the data a little bit more. Now finally, each piece of mail reaches its correct destination. This is the output of a neural network. In our cat picture example, the final destination is the network saying, hey, that's a cat. But here's the really clever part. How does the sorting office get so efficient? Well, they're constantly learning. They observe the mail flow, see where the bottlenecks are, and adjust the conveyor belts accordingly. If a city is getting a huge amount of mail, they might widen the belt that leads to it to speed up the process. And this is similar to how a neural network is trained. We give it many examples and we adjust the weights or the conveyor belt speeds to get better at the task over time. Now, just as a sorting office processes mail efficiently, a neural network handles complex data layer by layer and it solves tough problems. You must understand neural networks to build and manage AI systems. This expertise enables you to effectively monitor and build these systems for real world solutions. And now you know the answer to, 